Philadelphia, home of the pretentious twats. Just kidding. Or am I? The main reason for my visit to the capital was Sophia Pride. This was my first ever Pride and it was simply fantastic. It was colourful, people were happy, there were random Sophians on balconies waving at us. It was great. There were also people who gave us a finger, but I really couldn't give a single 50 fracted fuck about homophobes at that moment. So here's a carefully crafted compilation of the whole Pride Parade. Enjoy. We stayed in Sofia for a few more days. Gabby left on the 9th and I was left with these two idiots, Irene and Stanimir, or Stancho. As usual, I played mother and convinced them, well, I insisted, that we visit the National Gallery for the exhibition of Han Kubrat's sword and ring. I promised in my first video that I would, and here I am. Now, for those of you who have never read nor learned about Bulgarian history, here's a quick backstory. Han Kubrat is one of our most famous rulers of old, that means the 7th century. He ruled in what's now Ukraine. It was his son Asparuch who moved to our current location, but I'm going to make a video specifically for Bulgarian history starting from the Middle Ages to modern days. So, it's an understatement that it is crucial that we visit this, this exhibition. Since the Hermitage Museum in Moscow has those relics, they've let us borrow them and by now they're probably back in Russia. But never mind, that's not the only reason to visit the National Gallery, there's also the royal family's collection of paintings. Now, Bulgaria is no longer a monarchy, but God, did those people have style. We travelled to Rusi, which is in northern Bulgaria, but a rainstorm caught with us and all our plans were ruined. So we took a bus to my village near Veliko Ternovo and spent one day before going back to Varna. And as an introvert working on extrovert batteries, I think there's no need to say that I was exhausted. Next time, I'm going somewhere closer. <laughs> 